Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Jim Irving, the president of J.D. Irving Limited, received a warm welcome at UMFK. As the guest speaker at an informational forum Thursday, he wanted to present more information about the potential mining project on Bald Mountain. If it proceeds, then I think you get all the obvious things, you know, the good paying jobs and, uh, and uh, lots of activity in the communities. That's the, the positive side of this thing. The question is, can we have something that's going to be commercially viable and be acceptable to everybody uh, from an environmental uh, perspective? It has a lot of impact on the economy and I try to stay updated with uh, the news and I had never seen Irvin before in my life so I thought I'd come here, shake his hand. After the forum there was a question and answer period. Many of those questions were actually concerns about the water quality of Aroostook County if mining on Bald Mountain actually does take place. I want to make sure that that's taken care of properly while they're doing the mining and he assured me I think I think he's an honest man and I think he will um, remember that this is one of the things that we need to take care of. You know in a lot of jurisdictions mining is done in very dry arid climates. We have a, we're fortunate we have lots of humidity, lots of water here in the state of Maine and so to make sure there's no contamination of the water supply the state has been very clear about defining the standard, it's got to be drinking water standard. Another concern was about taking away non-renewable resources, namely the metals that will be mined. The non-renewable resource, there's no question about it, it's non-renewable. It is what it is. I think the only maybe renewable side of this thing is going to be if we can build, build a skill set, if it can help us lever up our, our people in the community, better skills, uh, perhaps better training here at the university, cause other things to happen. Those are the kind of maybe renewable assets that will help us build other industries here in the region. Irving says there's still a lot of research to be done and a lot of steps to be taken before mining could become a reality in the county. Randy Nissenbaum, News Source 8.